Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. We're gonna be tying the JT Clouser, which is, in my opinion, probably the best glass minnow pattern that I've come across. And how I came across it was my buddy JT um, threw me a couple of his that he tied in deer hair, and boy, did the fish tear them up very quickly. And uh, they ate them and they destroyed them. So before charters, I was tying five to six of these patterns before every charter. Um, and I had to figure out how to get these things to last longer. So I came up with my own variation using different materials. It's really simple. It's a clouser pattern, which is probably the least sexy fly pattern in all fly fishing, but also probably the most effective. They're about as sexy as a turtleneck, but they get the job done. If you're looking for a glass minnow pattern, I strongly suggest you consider this one. Really simple tie and we're gonna go over it. This is, we're starting with a size two. Mustad Tarpon Series hook. It's the C68 SNP DT. Um, good hook. I like to go with the Tarpon Series because Tarpon will eat this fly. And we'll put an eye on this thing. The Clouser eye we're putting on is a mini. It's a 180th ounce. I'm using 3 um mono thread. I'm using the color black as far as uh, the, the eye of the clouser, but you can use literally so many different colors. Um, I've used unpainted, and actually that's most of the time that's what I use, is unpainted lead eyes. So we'll get this thing seated. I like to leave enough room so you can get a weed guard on there. JT, the guy who um, tied this version with the deer hair, actually puts the eye back even further on the hook. So we're gonna get this eye seated and locked in, make sure it's all squared up. It looks good there. <clears throat> so I'm gonna dab it with a little super glue. And then I'm gonna keep tying into it. Now I've seen a lot of guys do this with uh, locking this in with the UV. Um, epoxy. I've tried that, but it seems like when you tie right into that UV after you zap it, you're just breaking it apart. So I still go with the super glue. I don't have any problems with my eyes. You do whatever works for you. So this thing is, I mean, this thing's not going anywhere. They're going to bend the hook before they move this eye. That's just how I roll. All right. So that's good enough. And then we're going to use a couple of different materials. EP fibers is what I found to last the longest. We're going to use the EP game, game change in, I forget the actual color. It's gray essentially, but they call it medium done gray. And then just their white 3D fibers. Finally, we'll top it off with some uh, crystal flash UV pink. Good stuff. So we'll start with the belly color, which is white, obviously. I tie these pretty sparse, and I would suggest you do the same thing. If you ever see a glass minnow, even the bigger ones are really not that thick. Just kind of get your fibers lined up so that it looks like, you know, it's tapered smoothly. It's not, it doesn't look like someone just tied it on a fly and cut it off straight. And we'll probably trim these anyway. So I'm going to tie this in here. Trim the excess. I'm gonna wrap that into the eye. There's, that glue should be a little bit wet still, so that'll lock that into place. And then we're gonna go with that gray game change EP fiber. Get this a little bit locked down a little bit further. Same thing with this. And to be honest with you, I've completely skipped the white before and only gone with gray and gray and the flash, and that works probably just as good. But I like to add the, the white, especially if you're fishing in stained water, you want a little bit of contrast. We're gonna tie this one in up here, in front of the eye. But then we're also gonna come back and wrap it back here, lock it into place, just cross. And then come in here, we'll cut our excess material off the front. So 
So that's what it's looking like so far. Looks like a gray and white clouser, right? Pretty simple. Really, I think what makes us fly, it is this flash. If you've ever seen glass minnows out in the wild, in the water, you'll notice they have a, a hue to them. And I think you can go with a bunch of different um, flash colors. I've tried a few. Um, this one works best. It's called UV pink, but when you put a bunch of it on there together, it's almost like a pinkish lavender color. And on top of that gray, it looks so close to what you're seeing out there when you see glass minnows. We're gonna tie this up here. So we got that section there quite a bit. I probably got about seven strands of the stuff. It's, <laughs> that's how strongly I believe that this crystal flash is important. So we're gonna take the stuff from the top and we're gonna flip it over. And we're gonna tie that in. And I'll come back here and I'll just kind of give it a couple little cinches. So that's that. We want to trim all this excess off because that looks like garbage. And then basically you're done. It's kind of simple. Um, that's not where I stop though. If I'm fishing this thing on the flats, I'm definitely putting a weed guard on 100%. Um, you got to put a weed guard on these things. But for the sake of this video, I'm not putting a weed guard on this thing. Let's just say we're gonna fish it for dock lights and that'll be that. So I'm gonna lock this thing in and then what I'm gonna do is actually do a little bit of trimming. I like to kind of shape these things and how I trim them, I trim them from the back. And I think for the most part with all EP fibers, you're gonna get a better cut if you start from the back and cut forward instead of trimming like this. So I like to kind of take that belly, make it a little bit shorter than the top wing, whatever you want to call it. Getting closer now, we got a long, there we go. We'll just call this good enough for now. So then what I'll do is I'll take this fly here and I'm gonna epoxy the head because that's what's gonna really help this thing stay together when it gets destroyed by whatever 20 snook in a night or redfish, whatever it is. So I'm pinching it, I'm pulling the fibers back here and then I'm taking my epoxy, which I'll use loon, but you know, I've got a buddy uh, in our fly club that sells this stuff and I'll, I'll be honest with you, this stuff is actually better than Loon. Um, it dries better, like faster with, with the actual UV light and it lasts longer. So what I'll do is I'll take the UV and I'll put it on here. This would probably be like thin um, or flow, whatever they call it um, for, for Loon. And I just kind of like get it actually all the way back to about the point of the hook. Cause I want this to be a low profile fly, very slender. I'm just kind of dabbing it on. Make sure everything's pretty squared away. And I'm gonna zap it. And if you want, you can trim it afterwards. This thing will probably fish fine just the way it is now. I don't know if you can see that. Super, super small profile. That clouds are motion. Fish never get tired of it. Not sexy, but get one of these in your box if you got glass minnows in your fishery because you're gonna want it and you're gonna be impressed when you fish it.